ladies and gents. All right, it's the outlaw here. My latest bill. Um, I put this together probably about, um, I say probably about a week and a half ago. I'm just not getting around to testing it out and everything. And um, as far as like the details about it, I'll go into details later on when we get back to the tabletop and I'll let you know everything that went into this bill. But right now we're just checking for function and I'm pretty sure it'll perform flawless like it should. But we're gonna see how it goes, stand by. All right, coming off safe. Held open on the last shot, 100%. What's going on, my good people? It's the outlaw here. And uh, I'm gonna try to run through this as quick as I can. Uh, I'm not gonna hold y'all up too long. Hope y'all had a great day. And uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna run you down on my newest build that you seen at the beginning of the video and uh, showed you a video of me actually shooting it. And today was my first time actually getting a chance to run this. And I mean, it ran flawless. And I mean, I like it. I, I love it. You know, I think I love all guns. If we make a pile side, I think I'm in love with it. But pretty much, uh, it's a 10.5 inch barrel, and I'm gonna give you the complete rundown of everything. All right. This is uh, Anderson Lure. I like Anderson. Um, when I first got into building my own ARs or whatever, I was strictly with the PSA Lures, Palmetto State Armor. And I mean, they're good. I love them. But, um, I think one day I got ready to build, put uh, put together one of my uh, AR pistols, rifle, whatever it was, and I think they was out of stock or something like that, so I actually tried the Anderson Lure, and I mean, I love them also, so, you know, pretty much whichever one I can get my hand on, that's the way I go with it. I, I love both. I mean, as far as quality and everything else, I mean, Anderson PSA, I really can't tell the difference. I like them both. So, like I say, it's a 10.5 inch barrel. It's an Anderson Lore. All right, and this upper, actually, actually this is a Bear Creek Arsenal upper. I actually did um, a video a while back on the Bear Creek Arsenal upper, and this actually is a Bear Creek Arsenal 10.5 inch upper, but I actually took the handguard off. And the um, reason I took the handguard off is nothing Nothing wrong with BCA handguards. I mean, I mean, I love them. They do it. I mean, they they good, durable. They strong. They lightweight. But I just wanted something with a little more flash to it. I mean, you know, just you know, a little bit more going on. You know, as far as like looks or whatever. So I actually switched the handguard on it. So as far as the entire upper, it's a BCA barrel and everything. But this is actually a moss defense. Nine point, I think it's nine point eight seven inches or nine point seven five inch, but yeah, that's a Mars Defense free float handguard and M lock. All right, so that's pretty much the upper, and we have a Magpul AF, AFG two, and man, this this red dot. Let me let me get to this red dot. This red dot. Okay, if you go back. A couple of videos to when I did um, my review on my customized Ruger Charger pistol, I was mentioning the OTW Red Dot that you can get off eBay. I mean, I'm sorry, Amazon, and I let you all know that it's only thirty dollars, and do not sleep on it because it's a thirty dollar offer. You think it's something that you know you'll probably tell up, lose zero. It's the same thing from my last video. My opinion haven't changed. I mean, they just work. There's no, no, there's nothing else I can say about them. I mean, they just work. I mean. And I said all that to say this, this is the same company. 
the OTW that's on my Ruga charger pistol that I did the video on. This is the same company. This is actually an OTW red dot sight. And once again, $30 directly to your front door from Amazon. And like I say, it worked. And I don't have flip up sights on this particular pistol yet. So basically what I did, I actually had this red dot on one of my other uh, pistol bills. And I actually zeroed it with the red, With uh, I actually zeroed this red dot on the gun that had the flip up sights, right? So basically what I did, after I zeroed and everything on one of my other guns, I actually took it off and I placed it on the same exact slot that I had it on the other one. You know, I bolted it down, tightened it down and everything just to see what the zero be, you know, close to it was on the other rifle. Perfect zero. I mean, I went out and I uh, ran this today and exactly everything that I pointed at, that's exactly what it hit. And I mean, I mean, the I, OTW, they just solid. I mean, I can't say anything else about them, but they just solid and they a damn good red dot. You know, pick one up. You know, especially like, you know, if it's just something that, you know, a little fun, you know, gun, rifle or whatever. And I mean, a lot of us, you know, we have multiple AR bills, you know, multiple rifles, multiple pistols. And if you actually spend three, four hundred dollars on an optic or even more on every AR that you have. Oh, man, you know, not I'm not saying, you know, don't go buy a quality red dot or whatever. That's not what I'm saying at all. But sometimes, you know. Man, building these rigs, I mean, they just as fun to build them as it is to shoot them. So, I mean, sometimes, I mean, we might build two or three in a month, you know, just have something to do. And, you know, a lot of times you just don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a red dot. So, with that being said, you can put one of these on there. And, I mean, they're fun for plinking. And if you have a home defense rifle or anything else, like a serious use rifle, like like a AR that you keep in the car or something, these still will fit the bill. They are dependable. I promise you. I, I mean, I can't say anything else about it. All right, now, I want you guys to focus on this. All right. I want you to take a good look at that. All right, bam. Don't that look sexy? All right, now, basically what this is, I mean, it's just like anything else. It's uh, pretty much some company that call them a linear comp. But basically a blast forward device, you know, just, you know, direct the blast and the noise away from the shooter you know just like your Troy clay moors and your cac flash can same thing this actually came off ebay i paid 18 dollars for this free shipping i mean i ran out today i mean i ran this i mean you know i think i put like 150 rounds through it and i mean it didn't discolor or anything it didn't walk loose i mean it's I mean it's perfect and you know don't get me wrong like I say you know my guns and everything I love them and and just being honest I'm not the type of guy that actually just want to you know like oh you know this company or this company you know like the best of everything I got to spend top dollar a lot of times you can actually you know you can actually try other stuff that that is not dead expensive you know what I'm saying it can be like something that's relative inexpensive and it just work it just works so as far as this i mean i don't even know the name of it i mean it was uh unbranded i just found it like in the middle of the night one night just just searching youtube i mean uh ebay and i found it 18 dollars. i'm like man that's not no money at all so i'm like i give it a try if it worked cool if not i'm not mad it works like i say ebay 18 dollars. and um as far as the grip i pretty much run mag pool k2 grips on pretty much all my ARs, pistols, rifle, and this magazine is actually a uh, it's a it's a it's a roller mag. It's actually a uh, who makes this Pro Mag. It's Pro Mag. Pro Mag makes this. Uh, can you get that to focus? But anywho, yeah, there it is. Pro Mag make this, and it's actually called a roller mag. And basically, where it get its name from. Is this how, how the follow was made? It's kind of like got a wheel on it and all that good stuff. So, hey, I tried it out. You know, knew some uh, something new that I ran across. Decided to check it out. Ran flawlessly. All right. So, at the beginning of the video, I know you've seen um, like quite a few different pictures of this same exact pistol. And basically, when I was actually putting it together, my my plans were have a um, FDE mag, FDE pistol grip, FDE pistol brace. 
All right, I was gonna go with the black handguard, but I was just gonna get some of those Magpul or BCM real coats and flat dark earth, you know, and put it on there. All right, so that was my plan, right? So actually, when I ordered everything and was actually assembling the firearm, I had to order this CAC shockwave blade. You know, I had everything but this, right? So in due time, in the time that it took for the the flat dog earth shockwave blade to come, I actually had this, and basically, and this right here, I mean, is a great quality. I like this. It's a Trinity Force pistol stabilization brace, and basically, it fits on just your normal uh, pistol buffer tube. All right, and it has the adjustment screws on the side, and you just tighten these down. So actually, I put this on there, and man, the gun looked phenomenal. I loved it. And the only reason I took it out because my initial plans was to have like the FDE on everything, right? So make a long story short, when the when my CAC shockwave blade came in, I actually took that off. The Trinity Force, I actually took it off to actually put this on just to see, you know, how to look and. In my opinion, like I said, I put the, the pictures of it at the beginning of the video. In my opinion, it just, I mean, I mean, it looked okay, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I mean, and I think what actually threw it off, because these uh, shades of flat dark earth, that the shades are like kind of different or whatever. So I think that's maybe what threw it off. So I actually decided not to put the FDE pistol brace on it. And uh, I was going to leave these two pieces, FDE, and we're going to go with a black pistol brace. But, of course, by me putting the CAC shockwave blade on, I had to take off this regular pistol buffer tube and put the, the CAC shockwave buffer tube on, the one with the dimples, right? So, actually, when I put this on and realized that that's not what I wanted, I was going to go back to this, but that means I would have actually had to take off the CAC shockwave buffer tube and actually put this one back on to put that on i'm like you know what i'm not gonna go through all that what i do i just order a black one because i thought the black brace looked better on this particular setup so instead of swapping the brace and buffer tube and going through all that trouble i left the buffer tube on the cat shockwave buffer tube and i just ordered a um a black shockwave blade and there it is and um, I like it, you know, I love it. Tell me what you guys think. And just to run back over everything, I have a, a linear comp that I ordered off eBay, $18. These Monster Fence Free Float M-Lock Handguard. And I think these run, um, I think they run like $80 off of Monster Fence website. And I have them. Magpul AFG2, Anderson Lowell, Bear Creek Arsenal Upper, uh, the Red Dot, uh, OTW, <laughs> Red Dot, kind of losing my, been at work all day, it's kind of sleepy or whatever. Roller Mag by Pro Mag, K2 Magpul Grip. It's just, um, as far as the trigger, I haven't done anything fancy with the trigger yet. So it's just basically a mil spec trigger that come with your lower parts kit or whatever. Nothing too fancy there. And shockwave blade with the CAC shockwave buffer tube and all that good stuff. And I actually got this uh, UTG riser mount right here. The only reason I have that right there because I was actually thinking about doing, like on my other video, how I have my 7.5 AR pistol set up. I was gonna put like a RMR or a Nikon, a Nikon P Tactical Spur. I think that's how you pronounce it. I was gonna actually put one. I haven't made up my mind exactly what I'm gonna do yet. So I just have that on there just in case I decide to actually put one of those reflect type optics on there. But nah, I don't know. I make up my mind. But overall, that's it. I think it came out pretty decent. I like it. I think that's badass. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, until next time, I'll see you a little later. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Style Law, signing out.